Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about this guy. So today, we're going to talk about stenciling a racket. So here I've got two rackets which are stenciled and I'm going to tell you how to make them look professional like this or you can make your own like this one here. So the technique that I'm going to show you on how to stencil a racket, uh, this applies to all racket sports. So you can use it for tennis, you can use it for squash, you can use it for, for badminton, soft tennis, any kind of racket as long as you have a stencil and a stencil ink. So stenciling your racket is all about making them look good, making them personalized, making you feel good. And I always believe if you look good, you feel good. You feel good, you play well. You play well, you win more. So, you know, why not do it? So yeah, so I'm gonna show you how it's done and you can follow along and come up with other ideas that you have. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I have other videos talking about stringing, talking about badminton, talk about stringing tools. Uh, I will link the other videos I have on the screen and please do subscribe to the channel. So the two things you actually need are actually stencil and ink. So here I've got two bottles of your next stencil ink, one in red and one in black. Uh, essentially they are just a bottle with ink in it as well as a felt tip at the very top. So essentially you use it like a huge marker pen across your strings. So let's get to it. So essentially place the stencil on top of the racket. On this stencil, this one, it tells you which side of the top side and you align it to the center of the frame. Use the strings as also a guide to make sure that your stencil is placed correctly and aligned properly to the racket. Once ready, remove the cap of the stencil ink tube and start colouring. Make sure you don't squeeze the bottle of the stencil ink and just let the felt tip at the very top do its job. If you've not used your stencil ink for a while, it might be hard or for the ink to flow. Uh, just dab it a few times on something else and the ink should flow quite happily after. You can also see I've placed some backing paper beneath the racket just to catch any splashes and be careful if you're working outside in the wind. Once you've finished one side, flip the racket over and also the same way with the stencil and realign them both and again start colouring. Once you're done, replace the cap of the stencil ink and carefully remove the stencil from the racket. I also like to tap the racket a few times to make sure all the residual blobs of ink on the string comes out onto the backing paper so it doesn't stain any of the racket frame if you swing it around immediately. And enjoy your stenciled racket! Now if you don't have a stencil, I'm going to show you here how to make your own. So I've gone onto the internet and downloaded Apple's logo as an example here and simply pasted it into Microsoft Word, making sure it's around minimum of 10, 12, 10 or 12 centimeters in size and then get it printed. The next thing you do is you cut it out. So once you've cut it out, you place the original stencil on top of it to measure the size, which you will then cut out so it will fit exactly on the racket. Once you've cut it out, you now have an additional stencil to use on your racket. Have fun. If you do not have a pre-made stencil, I'm going to show you a second way to make your own stencil. So essentially, place your racket on top of the printed sheet, draw a line across the shape and cut it out. Once you cut it out, refine the stencil by pushing it into the racket frame, drawing a second line and cutting it out. And there you go, you have your finished stencil. this video please give it a like a thumbs up and subscribe if you have any comments please put them down below and I will get back to you what stencil would you make for your racket please comment down below you know